presented here today i would show you how to make an invoice template invoice template means uh, invoice i think invoice or bill everybody knows that in english no invoice whatever what it is in everyday life you are purchasing so many things uh, at least in the case of online shopping you are having invoice with every item you are purchasing so all the companies uh, are supposed to generate invoice for uh, 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 every sale and generating a individual invoice for individual sale it is required to have to be there a standardized a standard uh, template for invoice maybe any software uh, most of the time in most of the cases companies are having their uh, own erp systems but for a small organization a small and medium organization uh, when they can't afford uh, so costly ERP solutions for them if uh, we are providing uh, some standardized template in Excel which is very lightweight and uh, easy to use uh, it will be highly useful for them for small and medium organizations I believe so I have just made uh, an invoice template using Excel in Excel, usually you are using uh, Excel workbook file, which uh, has its extension as .xl x or Excel x or Excel sx. But here, uh, as you can see, I have made a template by the name of invoice, and it has its extension .xl tx. Because in earlier uh, 2003 version, three version before 2010, it was uh, .xl t for template. Now, 2010 onward. This is dot Excel TX for Excel template files. I have made a template file uh, template for invoice. I'm showing you. I'll be uh, taking you through each and every step I have used to make this template. I'm uh, just opening this template file. See, this is uh, the invoice template I have made. Now I'm showing you uh, the whole logic behind this making this template. First of all, I, um, I want to bring it to your knowledge that in every every company, every organization, uh, they are selling some product or some services. Maybe a manufacturer of uh, medicine or manufacturer of something. They are uh, certain types or certain list of products they are selling. They are manufacturing. In the case of traders, suppose some of the companies are selling, just buying and selling. In that case also, they are having a, a large list of items or products uh, they are uh, selling or buying. In the case of service provider companies, they too have their own list of set of services. And in every case, uh, there uh, is a master list, master list of products or services. And so I have made a product here, here you can see three sheets I have made in this Excel uh, template one is this is invoice another one customer and another one last one the product here I am discussing this product master the, here I have shown some items and as you can see or you can think in every uh, case of in every item or product or service there are some entities related to a product or service like name product code a unit of measurement it's uh, very important because anything if it is uh, sold or bought there has to be a unit using i mean number piece packet liter whatever it is and based on that uh, total value is calculated so rate is uh, assigned in per unit so uh, it has a per unit rate also and tax it comes with tax gst as per the government rule, every item or every service has its own percentage of tax. So, in master product master, uh, you can see these are uh, some products. Uh, for example, I have just entered here some product code, their uh, unit of measurement, their uh, standard prices unit per unit price, and the tax percentage. Suppose uh, binder in this case, binder it has 18% uh, tax. In uh, Excel beginner's kit, it has 18%. Pen set, it has 12%. So, 
this is product master uh, i made a separate seat for this then comes customer master customer master this is also uh, uh, very important master because whenever a business comes there has to be customer and every company has uh, at least uh, some uh, fixed some more or less fixed number of customers and they are having their uh, uh, particulars like name uh, code address and all and even the new customer in that case also they need to they store their detail uh, for re business and most of the most of the cases uh, depending upon the customer satisfaction uh, customer first new first time customer becomes repeat customer so customer detail has to be maintained as a customer master so every company most of the, in most of the uh, cases companies maintain their customer master so i have uh, just made a separate seat for customer master here you can see some list of customers name code address and some more details as well and uh, in this column you can see this uh, discount percentage and uh, payment day payment is basically credit days number of credit days discount percent depending on the upon the business volume of business and uh, other uh, parameters companies uh, provide uh, certain percentage of discount to their customers so uh, i have entered here discount percentage for uh, different percentage for different customers this is credit days credit days suppose uh, there is a regular customer having uh, providing a big volume of business in that case maybe the maximum uh, number of uh, credit days is allowed to that uh, customer if there is a new customer having a lower volume of business in that case obviously the, the credit days has to be lower one these are the details uh, have to has to be mentioned in customer master so i have Uh, maintain here a separate seat for customer master then comes invoice this is the invoice template now i am showing you how i have made this first of all i am uh, showing you this uh, logo and uh, at this time nothing is simple i basically have protected it so i am protected okay now i am showing you how this logo has been brought here just have uh, come here and go to insert tab click on pictures then you have uh, your logo every company has its logo just uh, pick your logo as i have my own logo nothing here I just pick. See, logo came here. Now I can resize it as per my personal choice. You too can do it. Okay. Logo came here. Now I have at the top right side. I have written voice and. Just to keep it. Uh, larger. I have changed this font. Then there is invoice. Uh, some details like invoice number, invoice date, payment due date, customer ID. These things have been inserted there. Then at the top, you can see in uh, the left side at the top, I have mentioned a company's own name and address and all. These are fixed parameters because. Company, if company ha, is generating company is generating device, uh, of course it has to have uh, their own address and uh, the details as constant in device. Then comes bill to bill to uh, it is a variable because depending on the customer it has to be uh, uh, entered every time. It is not necessary that same customer will be buying same. Uh, Uh, every invoice will be generated for the same customer, so it has to be uh, like variable. So see here what I have done. Uh, here I have a brought, you can see a combo box and drop down box is there, which is coming from customer master. So how I have done it, I am showing you. Here. 
for first of all I How I have done it, I am showing you. I just went to data, then uh, data validation. Here, by default, it shows any value, but I pick list from here. Then I clicked here. Then I selected in the customer sheet. I went to customer sheet and selected uh, the list of customers basically names only I need only names so I uh, selected this portion but in this case if uh, one more customer is added at the bottom of this table that will not be picked for that drop down so I, what I have to do I have to take this selection to the last row so any uh, customer name added till the end last row will be automatically automatically pick for that drop down okay now see drop down came here in this drop down you can see all these customers name appear here now next here I have added uh, address details so I am showing you how the things are working at the top first comes the invoice number and in the second in the second line you can see this is invoice date invoice date automatically comes as current date means today's date as you can see for this I have used simple today function which is uh, of Excel worksheet function you can change it if but I to avoid back date invoicing uh, I, have, I have to keep it locked so by default it will take the current date but depending depending upon the requirement I can make it unlocked or unprotected in the invoice number depending upon the requirement uh, you can change it but in my case I have just get to uh, uh, use the prefix uh, BA dash then uh, I am using the year of the current date then uh, dash and then the invoice number whatever invoice number I will be entering here here this ampersand sign this is used as a concatenation operator operator concatenation means uh, uh, basically joining two different strings uh, here left side this is da minus and right side here this concatenates these two values then here also this concatenates this last uh, this dash then this year here it concatenates this one and dash so in this way if you uh, want to another advice that in that case you can just change here one two two or three whatever you want I'm uh, just keeping one here device number then date appears here and year is picked from this device date here this year is picked from device date at six at six is this this cell so year of this date is taken here in device number then I'm coming to left side here customer detail um, uh, by pressing alt and down arrow key uh, user can select any customer from here as soon as a customer is selected you can see at the right side payment due days appear here payment due days how it came it shows 19th April customer is customer is Alpine Sky House let me check whether in customer master Alpine Sky House has these details Sector 264 Industrial Area Noida Alpine Sky House and customer ID is 3. Let me go to customer Alpine Alpine Sky House. Here, customer ID is 3. This is address is 3. Uh, payment due date it shows 20 days. Since calculating 20 days from 30th March, it comes. Uh, 19th April depending upon the credit number of credit days assign, assigned to this customer automatically it shows payment due days means payment will be due by 19th of April these here this address 
it, address is also picked from customer uh, sheet how it came here i'm showing you the formula i have used here see we look up a11 a11 is name of customer so it looks for this name in customer sheet customer sheet a range is a32 k24 a32 k24 is basically the data range where customer details are entered in customer sheet then comma 3 3 is basically the column number from which data is picked from uh, uh, here Th this is the address which is available in column of 3 of this customer uh, sheet then false in vlookup last uh, argument is false which is for exact match it looks exactly if this exact name is matched there in customer then you may return the value then i am using here if error function if error is used uh, to avoid error if the data is not found there then it will generate error so avoid that error here uh, to appear here i am using here if error then return empty value same way here also i am using same formula i am looking for this uh, customer uh, name in the customer uh, sheet and taking the next column which uh, stores in the next line of address and so on then here also you knew the same uh, formula has been uh, used here also same formula has been used just by changing the column number then comes here description. In description also I have used the same logic which has been used uh, to pick here the customer names from customer. Here description I am uh, picking product details from product names from product. So here also I used I went to data then uh, data validation and data validation uh, selecting list here then click here then selected the names of products I have selected till this row if uh, more items are added in these rows those two will be automatically picked in that uh, drop down so here also I can drag it to the last row this way drop down automatically came here then what I have done I have copied Same thing to the till the last. Copy till the last. I mean till here. I have copied same thing. Same thing I have copied till this. Now here you can see the code I am uh, looking for, what I am looking for this product name in this product sheet, in this product data range and picking the second value from the second column of product which is product code and this way product code automatically comes here once the uh, product is selected from this drop down. Same way unit of measurement this also comes from there automatically as soon as uh, this is selected uh, unit of measurement comes from there the quantity has to be entered manually so no formula can be used here then unit, unit price comes from product same way using the same uh, formula amount amount has to be uh, calculated using quantity multiplied by per unit price uh, this formula I have entered here GST GST comes from product as you can see we using we look up for product B18 B18 is uh, this this pro product I am looking for this product here then picking a GST percentage from there then that percentage is calculated over this total amount and here in group for gross amount I am adding the amount plus GST you can see formula here so all these formula uh, have been copied till these rows then comes here subtotal for subtotal I have used sum from here to here then discount discount is taken from customer master we look up A11 A11 here this is customer 
by looking in the customer master whatever the discount percentage is mentioned for that particular customer is calculated here on this amount then shipping it has to be entered manually and total comes total of these three components and your invoices and invoice template is ready see now what i am uh, at the bottom i have uh, typed some constant values here for payment payment you can see for pay, payment to be made within 20 days this 20 days also comes from that customer master uh, using vlookup function it looks for a11 which is the name of customer in that customer master the text 11th column 11th column you can see in customer 11th column this is credit days takes 20 from there so your invoice template is ready and now using this uh, I'm generating a new invoice um, just uh, 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 some quantity I'm putting here and then we'll press alt plus down arrow select another item alt down arrow to select more item all plus down arrow to select more items and quantities as required pen set and there pencil thanks device is generated see everything is calculated automatically but device is ready shipping if I'm adding the shipping total calculated now one problem I see myself here that if user wants user can change anything anywhere suppose here, here I change allows but it should not be the case that user changes any value, value anywhere uh, as per uh, its requirement so I have to uh, protect these cells where I have uh, implemented formula. Only the uh, like quantity it has to be entered manually. So I have to leave this, these fields only, these cells only unprotected. Otherwise, uh, these uh, cells I have to protect. So what I have to do for that? I'm showing you one thing. I'm just clicking anywhere and then Control A to select all and right click. Right click, go to Format cells. At the rightmost tab, you can see lock. It shows lock. It means all the cells are locked. All the cells are locked. But I have to uh, means uh, 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 in this case all the cells will be protected if I protect this particular sheet. But I have to keep these cells unprotected. Even the whole sheet is protected. So select all these cells right click again go to this protection and uncheck this lock now these became unprotected even the whole sheet is protected then come here but here uh, I am doing wrongly here because uh, at this time I have a moment I have entered some data here so I will make this change in the uh, empty template. Empty template. So uh, I am removing all these data. This doesn't matter. Just to show you, I am making it empty. Show you that I am making this change in the template only. So this has been unprotected as I show you unlock this has been unlocked it's ok same way description I have to make entries in these cells so I have to keep it unlocked so uh, unprotected so I have to un unlock it then here customer I have to make entry here so I have to I have to un unlock this, this cell to unlock then user will be making entry of invoice number so it, re it is required to be unlocked then 
that I'm not going to be allowed to change. So if I choose it, okay. now what, nothing else has to be uh, left changeable. So it's okay. Now what I have to do, I am clicking on the invoice sheet. Right click. I am clicking right click. Then click on contract sheet. If I want, I can put my own password. Suppose when. Then, no, this is my template, device template. What I have made, how I have made, I showed you each and every step. This amount shows because shipping is in third year. Uh, now it is not allowed to make changes here. So, uh, shipping it has to be. To left, it has to be left uh, changeable. So uh, again, I have one product in this template. Okay. Unlock. Logic is that if you protect any sheet, all the locked cells are protected, not the unlocked cells. So I have unlocked all the cells wherever I need uh, to make some entry later. Basically, in every cell, wherever I need to allow the user to make entry, I have left all those cells unlocked. Now I am again going to protect the sheet. Now. now what I have to do, I am going to, I'm going to sh uh, save this uh, template uh, by its original name. So I am going to the folder where I had stored it. Uh, this is here. Selecting the template file type, it is Excel TX. Excel TX is here. Then by default it remains it device one, but I have to keep it device because it is template. So I have to keep one template. So it will ask for replacing yes. Now my template is ready. Now I'm going to show you how to generate every time a new invoice using the same template template without making any changes required in the designing and formulating. Only the required quantities and some of the figures like shipping has to go into manually. See, now I am allowing here to change. No, it is not allowing here to change. No change is allowed. No change allowed. No change allowed. Only here it will allow. I am making invoice number one this time. Okay, now I am coming to select customer. Just when uh, I select new uh, one. Okay, so it has also by mistake with two. Oh, sorry. Then I have to make some change in the template. So click by uh, mistake to left as well. So again, uh, about this. Oh, this is, this is also locked. I have to mix it. I have to make it unlock because I have to make some data entry. Means I have to make. This is shipping to Now, protect sheet.
Oh, basically it got saved somewhere else. This is the problem with my backbook. Remember while saving any Excel template. By default it gets saved in default template folder of office. Now. now I'm in my own folder. I'm opening the template file. Yeah, it's open now. Now you can see this is the empty template by the name of invoice one. I, it has opened in the Excel file. Now I'm entering. First of all, uh, if I want, I can change here uh, invoice number. But this time I'm not doing that. Uh, let's let the customer automatically uh, the customer ID and credit days payment due date appears here. Then uh, comes to run this. See everything comes automatically now you can't make any changes anywhere except this and this area you can't change here make any change here only here you can make change so this invoice is ready user doesn't need to do anything uh, just making uh, selecting a customer and selecting some items as per uh, the requirement basically only three places and, and quantity. The rest of the things are coming automatically. Now you can take a printout of your device. Save in the PDF format. Device one okay. I'm saving as device one in the document folder. Then here I need to make another device. Just to don't do anything. I change the invite number, and I just need to select another customer. Everything got changed. Here, item two. I uh, suppose then input until and that quantity from. And then see everything can be automatically. I just doing this thing. If, here also, if you want to save this uh, device in PDF format, that you can do. If you want to save in XLS format, uh, in, in like a separate Excel file, that too you can do. But if you are, you can't send uh, an Excel file. Uh, Invoice to your customer because in that case you will you, be sending your whole customer detail, the whole product detail which any uh, company doesn't want to show to their customers. This is personal secret detail. So to avoid uh, sharing your own personal details, secret uh, details to, with your customers, you just need to save it as a PDF format. In, in PDF format, to generate just. Uh, Take a printout in PDF format. For your reference, if you want to uh, copy of your invites in Excel format, just make, uh, you can save it in Excel format. You can save it. Invoice two. In, in your 
document folder and you can see your invoice to excel file invoice to just uh, you have seen your excel invoice in the invoice number 2 is here not the template is here template is at its original place template is at its original place where I had stored it so now you can see your template is empty there is no data inside your template okay. every time you just need to open it select customer products and your invoice is ready hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed visit digitalurgent.com slash video to watch my more videos and subscribe my channel on my future places thanks for watching